Hey guys, welcome back. So I am sitting outside the library here that closed a little bit ago. However, I'm shocked at how many cars keep pulling in here, going up to the door and being surprised that it's closed. Apparently it closes early on Fridays, which I didn't know. I came because I reserved this book, Expiration Dates by Rebecca Surley. She's the author of In Five Years, which was an amazing book. So I requested this from the library and um, probably we'll start that day, tonight, whatever. We had all intentions this morning when we left, got in the car, Ken and I together, to go look at a house that we were gonna film this like intro together and everything, and he ended up getting a work call, and that took him up almost the whole ride, and then afterwards we were just, you know, talking this, talking that. We even went to lunch afterwards and talked about even more stuff. And so I never did film an intro. So here's my intro. Um, this video is actually going to be a couple of houses that we, one, we already have looked at that I'll share with you guys. And then another one that we're going to be looking at in a few days. Um, you'll see a huge contrast between these two houses because the one that we looked at today uh, was like 20-ish years old. Um, but oh my gosh, it was in an immaculate condition. Great, great house. Literally ideal for someone who wants to move into a house and not have to do anything to it. There was not one thing wrong with it. I mean, certainly the paint colors and things like that, we'd probably change up, but any in the cabinets were like older, but oh my god, the quality of the cabinets were just amazing. So, you know, we could paint the kitchen cabinets, paint the bathroom cabinets, change up the color schemes and that sort of thing. Probably lay down hardwood floor in a different color in the foyer and extend it all the way into the family room and get rid of that carpet. Like very, very doable. Price range was on the lower end of what we're looking for so that's a positive it has an in-ground pool that was kind of like you can't see the pool because it had the cover on it still which i was like how can you buy a house without like seeing the pool but i suppose if you felt that you were at the point that you were going to make an offer maybe you could like say hey i want to come back and see the cover off the pool tomorrow maybe i don't know we just felt like i don't know when you know you know will you walk into a house and you just be like oh my gosh this is it I also was telling my realtor that this whole like coming soon thing that they do with houses around here right now by putting <coughs> by putting a house on the MLS listing site. So when you go to like realtor.com and all those websites, they show the house and you can look at all the photos, but it's coming soon. So you can't see it for like a week to sometimes two weeks. And me, I'm an impulse buyer. When I see something, I'm like, ooh, I really like this house. And I'm scrolling through the photos obsessively. Like, I'll find the house. And then three hours later, I'll look again and I start visualizing how will my furniture work in here? And will my kitchen table fit in here? And then all these days go by. And by the time you go there and look at the house, you're like, eh, I don't even know if I care anymore. To, am I even interested still? It's a weird feeling. I think it's a weird I call it game to play. I get why sellers and realtors do it because they want, you know, to build up this long list of people that probably went to see that house today, will probably see the house through the weekend, and then they'll wait till Monday and take the best offer. Like, I get it. But at the same time, from my perspective, from the buyer's perspective, I'm just like, I, I don't like it at all. Um, the other house that we're going to look at is quite a bit different. It's it's newer. It's uh, five years old, I think. Five, maybe six years old. So even a little bit newer than our house now. It does not have a pool, but has space to put one in. The outdoor setting that is existing right now appears to be very beautiful, but it's also in a subdivision that it appears as though when the subdivision was created, there were some rules created. Like you have to get a fence approved, a pool approved, like all this stuff. I don't want to be in an HOA situation. It says there's no HOA, but yet it included this documentation with all these rules. So we're confused. So my realtor is going to work on that this weekend. So to be continued on that. So I did want to say that when I first got here at the library before I walked in, I was like sitting in my car and I watched Carly's video because she addresses her breakup. Yes, her and her boyfriend broke up. Go watch her video if you want to hear any more on that because I know I've got a lot of questions in my own DMs on Instagram and that sort of thing. Um, but that's her story to tell. And then I was scrolling through realtor.com 
and a really nice house just came out on the market. It's older, but it's, I kind of like it. And guess what? Of course, it says coming soon. So obviously, we won't be seeing that anytime soon. So that'll have to be in another video. But um, yeah, it's just, it's like I have a stress headache. This is, this stuff's hard. This is like adulting and not necessarily fun adulting. It's like you just want to make all the right decisions. And this whole week, I've been like busy painting and just getting stuff done upstairs. We got rid of so much stuff. When I get home, I'll give you guys a little update on how everything looks upstairs. And right now I actually have to run to get some garbage bags because we had a lot of like, just, I don't know what the, all the stuff was that collected in the kids' linen closet. Like old sheets and blankets and stuff that we haven't even used since we moved into our house seven years ago. What are you doing, babe? Oh, now I always left me clues. Just to keep you safe. All right, that was not a fun weekend at all. I was sick the entire weekend. Earlier in this video, when I sneezed, I kept sneezing all day on Friday, and I thought that maybe it was just from being up here around the cat hair, painting, the fumes, all that. I didn't know what was going on. Clearly, it was just the beginning of me getting sick. I still sound a little funny today. I don't, I feel about 75%, but I'm gonna get this stuff done. I'm pushing through it today. I wanted to show you guys. So this was Chase's old room. Clearly, this is where Carly's ex was staying when he lived here. I didn't mention it previously because at that time Carly had not like announced her breakup but I wasn't trying to like be sly about it. It was just whatever. So this is it, the final of this room. Um, we took, here let me close these curtains. Just can see a lot better without that sun shining in. So this plant that was in Carly's room, at one point I brought it in here because that corner just looked so empty. And we have the bed. It's actually, this was an old comforter of Carly's that it's just like dirty. It's got like marks and stuff on it. But I just put it on upside down because I just hate to buy something at this point. This bed will be going with us when we move for a guest room. However, depending on the size of that guest room, this bed's only a full, so I may upgrade to a bigger bed at some point. So I just don't really wanna like spend the money on new comforter and everything. So we're just making do with what we have, just like this little end table here. It had some marks on it, so I got this little doily thing off of Amazon, and this is just some stuff that Carly had, like decor. And then I ended up taking those shelves, the cube shelves, out of the room. I know that cord doesn't, well, maybe I should swap that out and put the lamp there. Or should I kitty corner that table? I don't know, I, I think it's fine the way it is. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. Um, obviously it makes this room look really big because there's not a lot in here, but we just have, again, some decor that Carly had, some books that Chase had and uh, that little globe thing. This is gonna be interesting painting because just even holding this camera right now and <laughs> filming my back is killing me. My, um, my first day of being sick was all like sinuses and then the second day was like a sore throat and like my back and my ribs hurt so bad from just like coughing and sneezing so much, I guess. We're gonna push through try really hard. I at least want to get Carly's bathroom done today. I'll show you guys what the bathrooms look like up here. So Carly's bathroom, what's happening is like it needed repainted anyways because like this is all marked up from her leaning that up against the wall. And then you see like where there's just white paint painted in these areas. Uh, here I decided to just go down all the way because that's where she got 
that hair coloring, the black hair color on the wall. Basically, we never had a problem in her bathroom at all. The all the years of living here until her ex, when he lived here, he used her bathroom. And it just started getting like, you know how you get like that water marks up towards your ceiling? I think he was just taking too long or too hot of showers or something because you guys know Carly showers and bays multiple times a day and we never had an issue when it was just Carly. And it was funny because when he was here and I'm like, um, you're destroying this bathroom. He's like, oh, I'll paint it before I leave. Well, you know, obviously that didn't happen. So painting her bathroom and basically Chase's bathroom, same thing. All right, the bathrooms are done and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna clean up real quick and then Carly and I are watching the finale of The Bachelor tonight. It's already 8.30 right now, but we're just starting it late. So all video that looks splotchy, it's just cause it's not dry yet or there may be shadows on the wall or whatever, but it turned out really good. So I can't put her curtain rod back up yet cause the wall is wet. So that's kind of laying in here. We took like the TV off of Chase's old room and Chase's current room so I could paint and cover up those holes. So I bought boxes off of Amazon, like TV boxes, so we can just pack those away until we move or sell them or something. Cause I don't know what we're gonna do with all these TVs when we move. And then Chase's bathroom. Definitely probably looks splotchy because I just got done like see up by the ceiling and stuff. It's not like dry yet. But I still need to come in here and clean his shower real good and then like wipe down his woodwork and that sort of thing. See, look, it's a little dust bunnies back there. But um, then I think we're good to go. We're ready for the realtor to come in and give her opinion on price for our house. Oh, Carly's room. I'll show you guys Carly's room. Um, this wall where she had her pictures, actually, on the camera, doesn't look as bad as it does in person, or maybe it does, I don't know, because I don't have my glasses on, but her whole room actually needs painted really bad, but I don't think it's gonna affect, like, the real that are coming in here and whatnot, but it all definitely is going to need to be painted here fairly soon. She's still got some stuff in here and it looks messy just cause her comforter is uh, falling on the floor, but there's Cordelia, kitty, 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 blending in with her jacket. And there's Tater Tot. So that is it from me. Thank you for watching this video. More updates to come, including next video will be the house that I'm actually really excited to go look at tomorrow morning. It's the one that's um, newer that I mentioned earlier in this video. I'm so confused on like what's going where because it just didn't work out the way it was supposed to. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys uh, back here with the next video on Thursday. Mm -hmm.